I'm Billy Morrison. I'm just an ordinary guy. And all I've ever wanted to do is play rock and roll. I've been lucky enough to play with some of the biggest names. I was in the cult. I played with Lou Reed, Kid Rock, Robbie Williams. I formed Camp Freddy. Why have you never heard of me? Because I fell off the planet. I got fucked up, disappeared for 14 years. But guess what? I'm clean and sober with Circus Diablo. It's my new band. It rocks, and I believe in it. I have passion. I have soul. That's what you're going to see. I'm going to get it right this time. Welcome to the glamour of it all backstage at the Key Club, a sold-out Key Club for Circus Diablo's first real gig. I'm just ready to go. I've got another half an hour, and I'm ready to fucking go. I'm scared of success and scared of failure at the same time. Every time I get on stage, the voices in my head tell me they're all going to figure out that you're actually useless. Remember the name, motherfuckers. Circus Diablo. This is Camp Freddy Radio on Indie 103.1. I am Billy Morrison. Camp Freddy is a covers band that Dave Navarro and I put together. We've invited some of the biggest names in rock and roll to jam with it. I'm Slash, sometimes guest guitarist for Camp Freddy. Billy's good people. My name is Matt Sorum. Um, Billy Morrison talked me into putting a band together called Camp Freddy. We played everywhere from strip clubs to arenas, and I coordinate it all. Saturday's show is turning into a ridiculous epic. You can't tell a guest once they're at the venue, you can't do this show. What if we could get Paris Hilton to sing on the record? I don't know. The Lionsgate came to us and said we wanted to do a couple of songs for the soundtrack. Paris was a suggestion, and there's a tentative thing to record her Friday night. But there's also, obviously, some concern. When you're 16 and you're lying around going, dude, I'm going to play guitar and fuck chicks, it's not like that. Come here. I'm just about to go on the road and drop an album with a new band. What better way to start the whole thing than do a movie, do the press for the movie, and uh, it's great, it's fantastic. When you're a kid, all you want is a record deal, and you'd sell your grandmother to get a record deal. In fact, in, in the music business, when you get a record deal, that's when your problems start. I, I knew about what Smack was, but I didn't understand what it would do. Sid and Keith and Jim and all those people had a look in their eye, and I, I kind of put two and two together and made five. About six weeks into my first ever trip to America, I heard some kid talking about speed, and uh, I definitely thought he would know where to get some Smack, so I leant over and asked him, and this is where he brought me. You know, there's a phrase, and it says, uh, wherever you go, there you are. And uh, I proved it. I, I traveled halfway around the world to hopefully stop using drugs and become a rock star. And I woke up, and there I was, same person, different country, more sunshine, more drugs. You know when you walk down the street and you see a bearded guy pushing a shopping cart? That was me. Let's take a walk. Let's not hang out here too much. This, believe it or not, was glamorous to me. Weighing 98 pounds and wandering around here searching for $10 to get a bag of smack, I thought I was being rock and roll, and I was sadly mistaken. I was behind a trash can, and I was there for hours covered in blood. This isn't glamorous, and you're, you're not going to end up in prison. You're going to end up dead. I tried to live someone else's life, and it nearly destroyed me. I've been lucky enough to escape, but a lot of people never get out, never get out, never get out, never get out. Brett Scallings, and I'm the bass player of Circus Diablo. My name is Ricky Warwick, and I play rhythm guitar. Jeremy Coulson, I play drums. My temptation gets me every 
time. Surfus Diablo comes from a background of real anger, of real emotion, passion, commitment. Um, we're fucking loud on stage and that translates. Now I find myself playing catch up. Why am I bothering? Why do I get up every day? Because rock and roll's in my blood. The passion, the fear, the excitement, the emotion, the smell, the sex, it's all part of me. And you get to watch me lead a life less ordinary.